Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Kim from Miss Kim's Children's Music. Today's vlog is going to be all about bugs. That's right, bugs. Some of us don't like bugs, some of us love bugs, but no matter what, they're very interesting to learn about. So stick around, we're gonna have some fun. Are you ready to learn all about bugs? I bet you didn't know that there are three different categories of bugs. One is bugs, which has about 75,000 species in its category. There are insects, which have about 150,000 species that we know of. And there is arachnids, which have about 100,000 species. We're gonna get into each category, but around the world, all over the world, there are 10 quintillion species of insects known to the world. That is a one with 19 zeros. That's a big number. Wow. Are you ready to learn the different categories of bugs? The first category of insects I wanna talk about are insects. Insects are known as invertebrates because they have no backbone. See, we have a backbone, right? The most interesting thing about insects is they mostly have wings and antennae. Woo. They have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have three body parts. One, two, three. They have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And their skeleton on the outside is very hard. It's pretty interesting. Now let's talk a little bit about all the different insects in the insect category. The insects in our world that you already know of, I'm pretty sure, are cockroaches. How about bees? Butterflies? Moths? Crickets? Wasps? Ants? mosquitoes, and beetles, which is the largest, largest category. There are many, many beetles in our world. So within the category of insects, beetles have the most species. I won't be able to show you all the beetles in the world, but if you're really interested in beetles, you can always go look them up. This is all very fascinating stuff. The next category are bugs. Bugs are different from insects in that they have this mouth that is shaped like a straw. It's got a piercing mouth part so they can eat. That's how they eat. They usually have six legs as well. The exception to that in the bug category are the millipedes and the centipedes. They have a lot of legs. In our bug category, there are the box elder bugs or the box elder bugs the water bugs, stink bugs, bed bugs, I don't want them in my bed, aphids, lice. Some of these are pests, right? We hear about lice in people's hair. Ooh, bed bugs, don't get them. Keep your house nice and clean. But for the most part, bugs are really interesting creatures. And I'm gonna tell you more about the last category as well. The next category of bugs or insects are known as arachnids. I bet you know what an arachnid is. They have eight legs. Spiders, right? They don't have antenna. The main thing about arachnids is they have eight legs. They lay eggs too when they give birth. Did you know that spider babies just come out as little adults and they just grow bigger over time. It's pretty crazy. The different types of arachnids that we have, the most common are spiders. So many different kinds of spiders too. Look at this spider. How about this spider? How about this spider? There's too many. Ticks. Sometimes your dog gets ticks, right? Maybe even you get ticks as well if you go out in the woods. Mites. 
scorpions. And last but not least, harvestmen. Since spiders are so good for the environment, they eat mosquitoes that bite us and other creatures, small insects. Miss Kim would like to show you how to save a spider and release it outside if you find one in your home. All you need is a cup and a piece of paper. I'm using cardboard because it's a little more sturdy. Keep that spider inside the cup. So let's pretend this is our spider. Cover it. Then you're gonna gently, gently start to place the cardboard underneath the cup. And you slide the cup in your hand. Voila. The spider's in there, right? But you go right to the door and you release it and let them have a ball eating all those mosquitoes. Here are some fun facts about the insects in our world. Since now we know the categories, let's learn a little bit about some cool, interesting facts. Bees, while gathering pollen, may travel up to 60 miles, and then they bring it back to the hive. That's pretty cool. Check out the bees in the hive making honey. Beetles, there are more kinds of beetles than plants in our world. As I told you before, there are more beetles in the category than any, in the insect category. How about ladybugs? Did you know that ladybugs, they're beetles. They're very beautiful beetles, and they smell with their feet and antennae. We smell with our nose. Antennae and feet, ladybugs smell with? I wouldn't go near my foot. Mm -mm, my feet don't smell, thank God. Butterflies also taste with their feet. You know, they cannot fly if they're cold. I didn't know that. And they only live a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Now, the bug with the shortest lifespan, which only lives up to 24 hours, is called a mayfly. This is a mayfly. Could you imagine 24 hours? I need more time than that. I need about 100 years. Some cool facts about spiders are that they produce silk. They are mostly vegetarian. They lay up to 3,000 eggs at a time. Hmm. Jumping spiders can jump 50 times their own length. That is a lot. The most venomous spiders in our world are the Sydney funnel web spider or the Brazilian wandering spider. I don't want that wandering into my room or my house. No, thank you. Other venomous spiders are the black widow spider, the wolf spider, the yellow sack spider, and the brown recluse. I don't want to have to get bit by any of those spiders. I'd love to show you the most beautiful bugs that we have in our world. We have the Christmas beetle. How beautiful is that? The jewel caterpillar. The peacock spider. The pink Katie did, the devil's flower mantis, the glass winged butterfly. These are just some of the most beautiful insects in our world to be observed and to enjoy. We may not have them in our area, but they are out there and they are wonderful. Can you go find some more beautiful, beautiful bugs in our world? Let's talk a little bit about noisy bugs, noisy ones. The two that are the most common noisy bugs in our environment are cicadas and crickets. The more subtle sounds you can hear probably are the bees. Bzzz. They buzz when they come close to your head and the flies make sounds with their wings, right? Did you know that stick bugs and longhorn beetles, stick bugs can make noise? 
to startle their pre a predator coming to go eat them. And a horned beetle can also make noise to startle it's a predator that wants to eat it. Could you imagine? Now I have to tell you, dogs and cats aren't the only pets that you can have. Snakes also, right? And gerbils and hamsters and guinea pigs. But some people have insects for pets. You heard me, insects, like millipedes. Stick bugs, which are kind of a cool bug to have. Praying mantis is a beautiful bug to have. This one creeps me out a little, I don't know why, but a hissing cockroach, which also makes noise, right? Cockroaches make a chirping or hissing sound. What pet would you want? What insect pet would you want in your house, if any? Most of you are wondering, why do we have all these bugs? Especially the ones that sting us and bite us and embed into our skin like ticks. Why do we have bugs? Why do we need all these bugs? Well, they are very, very important, very important to our environment. A lot of bugs pollinate plants and flowers. The bees are our most famous pollinators. They're so important to our environment. Other bugs and insects drop seeds to other areas. So there could be plants in other areas. They help the soil. They help churn it, move it around. They cycle nutrients. They control populations of other organisms. So some bugs will eat mosquitoes that may be overpopulated. We don't want too many mosquitoes, right? So they're super important for the environment. And sometimes they're the main source of yummy food for other animals. That's why insects are important to our world. Miss Kim wants to say thank you for joining us for this wonderful vlog about bugs. I found this all to be very fascinating and I'm so interested, I wanna learn more. I bet you do too. There are many books at the library if you wanna explore any different category since there are so many. I hope you have a nice day. Come again and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.